these apparently simple animals have complex behaviour and are capable of learning. Working as a swarm, the flies increase their awareness of the world, making it difficult for predators to catch them. Fortunately, the flies are so high in protein, the gulls don't actually need to catch that many. Just 20 flies a day gives them all the calories they need. The flies are so nutritious, 65,000 Californian gulls come here to breed each year. Yellow-legged gulls also adapt their behaviour to feed on a swarm. As 10 million starlings stream into the city to roost, they outnumber the human residents four to one. Most are young, inexperienced birds, by flocking together, they benefit from each other's knowledge. For the gulls, it's like chasing fish shoals in the sky. They act like fish shoals too, forever changing shape and reforming. The gull attacks, trying to split the flock. The flock regroups. The starling's manoeuvres are too quick for a single predator. The gulls try to turn the odds in their favour by working as a team. Together, they corral the starlings and try to split the flock. But the flock grows more powerful by the minute. As more birds join, they gain strength in numbers. A peregrine falcon is a greater challenge. It reaches 220 miles per hour in a dive. The starlings snap together in close formation. They become a blockade of birds. The peregrine risks serious injury if it attacks now. The flock is like quicksilver, forever splitting and reforming to confuse their attackers. It's impossible to target a single bird. Like other swarms, birds create this distracting display by watching their companions. Amazingly, each starling tracks the movements of seven of its neighbours at a time. By monitoring these seven birds and keeping in formation with them, each individual helps keep the swarm as a cohesive force. All this happens ten times faster than a human can think. We are only just discovering how much information is exchanged when birds gather in huge numbers. <laughs> 